Hey y'all, it's Andrea at VW Family Farm and I am going to show you what all we have available that you can order right now. We've been telling you about this. We did a live a couple days ago and warned you that this video would be coming out at 9 a.m. today. And so here we are. I want to just quickly get into this and show you what all we have and then I will tell you how to order if you're interested. So let's just jump right in it. Um, the first things that I have, I made a ton of this for the store we were going to open. Um, and then we've decided to just completely do the store online. There's a website coming. So this will be the last time we do this like this. And then next time it will be all streamlined on a website with like counters on each product showing how many are available and then you won't be ordering something that possibly could already be out of stock but for this time this is the last time and i don't really know a better way to do this we looked into etsy and it was just uh, not a good fit for us at this time so we're going to do it like this so i have a ton of this is grape jelly and so I have quite a few jars of this available and we also have muscadine jelly which is like a wild grape here in the south super delicious it's a little bit different than grape but it is a lot of people's favorite type of jelly so we have grape and muscadine and those these are in pint jars and they are five dollars a piece so so we have those and I'm also going to put all of this all of it down in the description all the different scents and everything so you'll have something to go by visually um, when you start to get your list together to order we also have you can see right here this is a gallon jar i have a ton of kombucha scobies which i have checked and you can mail those and i'll be mailing those with a cup of starter tea double bagged in a ziploc bag um, with some instructions as well of what to do uh, how to make kombucha tea because this will be ready to go it's a fully active alive starter and you'll be ready to brew kombucha immediately so those are ten dollars for the scoby the tea and the instructions um, and then moving on we have Emily made a ton of these boho bandos and there's a whole video on them if you want to see how to style them and all that we have a video search VW boho bando and it'll pull right up um, we have a variety of colors we have tan we have um, turquoise this pinkish purpley color this gray I really like it's pretty neutral all of these are could go with a lot of stuff and then I love this green color this olive green so there's several in each color again that will be down in the description and those are seven dollars emily and i actually bought the name brand and paid two or three times that much and then we find ourselves wearing these that she made so there you go those are quite a bit cheaper and she did a really cute job on them and plus she has a video showing you how to style them okay next she made a bunch of these diffuser necklaces this is a little cage it's got a little um, lava bead down inside it so those absorb essential oils really well and um, i've worn these quite a bit myself i actually bought all the supplies for these myself and gave them to friends and family members and i love these things because it's right there you can smell it if you put on something for calming or something you can just pick it right up and smell it if you need to these are great so these are four dollars um, and they're on a variety of chains we had someone ask on the lot how long is the chain they hang about to right there and they're all pretty close to that length they're not like a choker style or anything like that they're on a variety of stuff anywhere from um this is more of a silver to we've we've got some on different looking silver and then we've got some on like some cording so they're just on a variety of chains and we i don't know any other way to do it than just order a diffuser necklace and we will just pick you one i know that's not the best way to do it but for this time i think that's how we're gonna have to do it and that leads me to we have quite a few little cute pairs of handmade pottery um earrings and they're all like southwest style I, I showed these on the live but i'll try to show them again really cute i don't know if the camera will focus on it some leaves that look kind of like terracotta and then um, just several different varieties of southwest earrings 
some cactuses. Those are super cute. So the Southwest earrings will just be um, all one category and those are $6 a piece. Um, you can put in a request if you want, like if you know you want the cactuses or whatever, you can put that in. But if those are gone, it will more than likely be something else. So go ahead and request whatever colors or anything you're wanting. And of course on the boho bandos, tell us what color. But on these earrings, feel free to request and if we can, we'll do it. If they're gone, it might be a different color. Like I said, those are $6. And then we have some $5 earrings and they are these cute cow tags. I'm going to show them to you. And then I call these teardrops. These are really popular right now. We've got a bunch of different colors. I think they're turned around, but these are blue. And then we have got cow tag earrings in all different colors. If I can get them to turn where y'all can see them. So cute. She made a ton of these. So both of those are $5 and um, just feel free to request a color. We'll do our best, but we have a whole variety of colors in those. And finally for the jewelry, we have some of these word bracelets. They say things like faith and grace. There's one that says grit uh, and they're all different like um, westerny or southwesterny looking colors. She did a really great job on these. Those are $3. And also for $3 are diffuser bracelets. These have the same lava beads that were in the necklaces. Some have a couple of them. Some have one. Uh, like this one has three. So these are all just called diffuser bracelets. And again, those are $3 as well. Okay, so let's talk soap and lotion. Uh, I made more than I've ever made before. And I tried to give them names where you could get like, I, I sat around and smelled them. I had Emily smell them and I said, what does this make you feel and think? And so I tried to give them names. Some of them are names that I have had before because you guys like those and I wanted you to know exactly what they were. Some of them are new things that I had never tried before and I tried to give them a name um, that could give you some idea of what they smell like because you can't smell through the camera. So let's get right to it. We have got Orange Glow Lotion. I've made that one before. It was really popular. I liked it myself. Uh, I have one that I called Gratitude. It just made me think of like fall and um, just fall always makes me think about being thankful and full of gratitude, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. So that one just made me think thankful. I don't know how else to say it. Um, I have a Warm Apple Pie. It smells really good, all the different apple pie spices and everything in it. This one I called Fall Afternoon. It just made me think of being outside on a fall afternoon and just everything to me just smells good in the fall. It's just so fresh and um, it's just like cool and crisp outside and that's just what that made me think of. And then I really like this one too. I called this one Silk. And that's just what it smelled like, like um, smooth as silk. Like, I don't know, I always called it like cashmere or something like that. It was just so um, warm and silky smelling to me. I don't know how else to say it. So there's silk, there's moonlight. This one had a more like um, deep smell to it, like um, a complex almost like musky smell but in such a good way it might even be my favorite one i really like that one and then we've got lavender vanilla sage that one speaks for itself that's a warm vanilla uh, with hints of lavender and sage in it I, I like that one too and then fresh and cool i've done that one before that's a minty one and even when you put it on you just feel like uh I especially like to put it on my face. It feels cool and like invigorating and it'll just wake you up in the morning. I really like that one. And finally, sunshine. I've made this one before. It was really popular. And so I did that one again. So those are the lotions. There's several of each one. If, if you, here's the problem I run into. If you order and you wait till late in the day, most likely most of your list is going to be gone. At least it has been in the last two or three times we've done this. And so then you might only have one thing on that list that I have left. And so don't wait. Don't put off ordering. Order as soon as possible because I go in order of emails. And um, 
I hate for you to miss out. And then I don't know what to do. I don't know if you want to pay shipping on just one item when you ordered eight of them or if you just want to not have anything at all. So what I'm going to do is if you order and most of your list is gone, I'm going to go ahead and I can do two things. I can fill a partial order and just go ahead and uh, send you the total and ship it out. Or you can put in your email that you'd rather not me rather me not fill a partial order, but you need to tell me that or else that's all I know to do. Because what's happened in the past is then I start trying to email you back and find out, do you want this? And I'm telling other people it's sold because I'm holding it for you. And then there's people I never hear back from again. So I, I never send that out to them and I was holding it for them. And then I tell this person over here, it's gone. And so I'm, I'm gonna fill partial orders and just go ahead and send you the total for those unless you say to me that um, if this is not a full order, I don't want any of this. And if that's the case, that's fine too, totally fine. But I can know that I can release that for someone else. So I hope that makes sense. Let's get to the soap and wrap this up. Okay, so let's go through the soaps. This one, right, I've got an orange, clove, and pumpkin right here. That's right here in the front. All of these have been drying for weeks. They are ready to go, ready to be used as soon as you get them. So this is orange, clove, and pumpkin. This one is a lavender cedarwood patchouli. This one is bergamot, mint, and fur, and it's actually got some rosemary on top. I really, really love how this one turned out. I like the look of that. Just beware, that will wash off eventually. Um, but I really think it looks cool. I have got back here in the back, and I like how this turned out too. This is bergamot and vanilla, and it has got some organic lavender buds on the top. I thought that turned out pretty cool. This has got uh, rose petals and rose buds on top of it, and it is cedar one and fir. It feels, smells really good like an outdoor fall afternoon. And then I've got tangerine, lime, and spearmint. This one turned out totally awesome, I think. I really love those colors. It looks like a creamsicle or something. This one is full of herbs. It is bergamot and sage, and I actually put some herbs in it, and then that kind of, that's what turned green. That's like some parsley, and I think I put some sage in there, and it's got a purple around the outside. It really looks neat. This one was a hit last time, lemongrass and orange, and I think it turned out Pretty cool how it faded down. This one was super popular, smells really good. And then lavender and orange. This turned out smelling, that's, I know that's kind of an odd combination, but it turned out really well. Finally, down here on the bottom, we've got orange, patchouli, and ginger. This is a really good fall smelling soap. I've got fur, rosemary, this is a mouthful. Fur, rosemary, eucalyptus, lavender, and peppermint. That's what's in this one. Um, Otherwise, if, if I'm not telling you that I added something in, this is just straight soap. No herbs or anything added into it. Fur, patchouli, and orange. That one wound up being a really cool combo. Lavender, cedarwood, patchouli, and then a pumpkin, some pumpkin spice in this one. So in this one back here. So that one turned out smelling pretty good. It, it smells, all of these are like nice fall combinations. They'd be great Christmas presents. And finally in the back, I've got a cinnamon, ginger, and vanilla. And that's what this one is. I did some neat texturing on it. It's some real chunky, rustic looking bars, but I, I really kind of like how it turned out. I thought it turned out. So the soap is $5 a bar and the lotion is $8 per bottle. Um, and I think that wraps it all up. Shipping, uh, just like last time, the padded envelope, those are $8.50, flat rate. You can fill it full. I think I have fit almost 20 bars of soap in those before. So you can fill it full and it's still just $8.50. Um, or you can put one bar and it's $8.50. And then if we have to go to like a small box, which um, I could probably fit the jelly in the padded envelope and really wrap it good, but if you're going to order much of anything and you're going to order jelly, I would suggest the box. Those are a flat rate of $15 shipping. 
and um, we can fit quite a bit. It's a small box, but it'll fit several jars of jelly. It would fit soap lotion. It would fit pretty much anything um, probably that you would order. So if it has to bump up into a box, it would be 15. And that would just be dependent on how much you ordered. Um, so I think that wraps it all up. The email is vwffsoap at yahoo.com. And this will be on a first come first serve basis, but I promise you guys we have more than we've ever had to offer. I'm hoping there will be enough for everyone. Don't put it off though, because I hate for you to miss out if there's something you're really wanting. I'm gonna sit down, it's gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna do it and type all this out in the description. And so you can refer down there, make your list, send me that email and I try to, when this goes out, stay on top of it and just email you back. And then um, as soon as I've given you a price and you've paid, then I get it packaged up and ready to go. And it's yours with your name on it. So um, just let me know as soon as you can. And I appreciate you guys so very much. And we will see you guys Saturday. God bless. Okay guys, I just thought of something to make your life so much easier when ordering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label down in the description, I'm going to label the soap because some of them have like five oils in it that I told you what their name was. So I'm going to write out what they are, but I'm going to give them a number. So if you're ordering like two of soap number ones or number threes, you won't have to type out in your order all those essential oils. Um, so I'm going to assign them a number. I'll probably do the same thing with the lotion. I'll list them all out for you guys. And if you want to order a fresh and cool and I give it number four, you'll just tell me lotion number four. Uh, I think that'll be a lot easier for y'all. If you don't understand what I'm even talking about and you want to list them all out by their name, feel free but I'm just trying to make this as easy as possible of a complicated process. So, see you later.